Mark Henry interviews the immediate vendors here on Rampage, including Will Ospreay and Aussie Open and Aaron Hanare just to hang out. Osprey says he's there to separate the sheep from the goats. And Trent talks about their time together in New Japan. He never liked Osprey, likes him even less now. And then Trent comes here on national television, a grown man, and looks into the camera and says, You and all your boys are nerd asses. <laughs> nerd asses, he says, with a straight face, trying to sound tough. FTR ignores him, as they should have, because they are the best tag team on earth, not Aussie Open. Where you come from, he says, you're used to playing wrestler. Here we fight. And this, of course, pissed off Osprey and his, on his, and his crew. So the match is... Of all of the teams to say, where you come from, you play wrestler. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Will Osprey and Aussie Open versus Trent and FTR. So this is Friday, and Dominion, I guess, would have been Saturday night. Yeah. Uh, U.S. times. And, uh, but then that, that barely 24 hours, I have officially lost all... I'm not even trying to comprehend anymore how they are promoting or building this Forbidden Door show because I just don't get anything. Will Ospreay comes out here. His biggest, I don't know if his first match on US TV, he probably had a Ring of Honor match, but his, certainly his biggest exposure to a US audience ever. He's a big star. He's a great wrestler. He's a guy I can't wait to watch on Forbidden Door. And there's Trent, who just established himself as a giant geek in addition to all the matches he loses. I'm thinking, okay, they have a great match. Will Ospreay pins Trent. We move on with our lives. Mm -hmm. They're doing this great match, and uh, Osprey hits the os cutter as on Cash, actually, which Cash kicks out of. And okay, that's weird, but I guess it's not really his finisher anymore. It's a Stormbreaker. He'll pin Trent with the Stormbreaker down the line here. And the match goes a little bit longer, and then Trent is actually on the, the uh, victorious end of the pinfall. He pins one of the Australian dudes with strong zero. Fletcher. Fletcher. He pinned Fletcher with strong zero. And I just don't understand. <laughs> How do you not have Will Ospreay win this match? I don't get it. Well, you know, Vinny, I would not have had Will Ospreay's team lose this match right here. And I, the only thing that I can figure is like, listen, I've been talking about this since the day this fucking show was announced. There's going to be a lot of politics involved. And you're not going to get every dream match that you've always wanted. You're not going to get some matches you want to see. You're going to be surprised by some of the matches. I'll say. I was flabbergasted to learn that Okada lost the IWGP World Heavyweight title at the show last night. After that whole build for Hangman versus Okada for the IWGP title, then they beat him. So I presume it's going to be like a four-way. It'll be like uh, Okada, Hangman, Adam Cole, and... Uh, Jay White. Uh, Jay White. The IWGP World Champion yes. you forgot. Yes, four-way. There's a lot of names here. So well, I, uh, I'm not mad at you. I'm pointing out of the four, he's the least me least memorable. You, so it's not like you can you can go on there and, like, you know, every time there's a New Japan guy on Dynamite, they're going to win. And then every time there's an AEW guy wrestling a New Japan guy, the AEW guy is going to win. I, I presume it's like, you know, half the time one guy is going to win. Half the time a guy from the other company is going to win. And they figured, well, we could beat Fletcher. It's not a big deal, but I, I would not have done it. And I think that either on Dynamite this week or next week or Rampage or whenever Osprey comes back to this country, he needs to go on one of these shows and get like 12 minutes with a great worker and have a blowaway match and uh, and get people excited for uh, for Forbidden Door because... Him doing the job, and he didn't do the job like him, but his team lost! And he and they kicked out of one of his finishes. Yeah, I was I was quite shocked by that uh, decision. So, here's the best time to plug this. Next Sunday, GCW, Nick Wayne versus Will Ospreay That's on right. Fight TV. That's right. So check it out. Should be good. I don't think Nick's going to win suspect that it will be good. Uh, IWGP United States title, but I stranger so. things have certainly happened. This I don't think business. Nick's walking away with the Rev Pro title, no. Mm. Is that the one that's on the line, or what's on the line? I just bragging rights. I, right, so I like, suspect none of them, yeah. I may as well put all of them on the line. Well, that may, give, that may spoil the finish, Brian. Yeah. I think the fact that Nick Wayne is facing Will Ospreay... <laughs> Probably spoils the finish. I oh, could be wrong. Ye of little faith. I, uh, I don't you got to believe, Brian. You got to believe. Yeah. Well, I don't believe this one. I'm not betting on Nick or nothing. But you know what? You it's going to be an awesome believe. match, though. 
Yep. That I can tell you. Uh, yeah. He don't win. He don't need no belt. Nope. He's gonna have a great match. Well, that was uh, that was rampage, everybody. Wrestling wise, hey, forget the uh, booking of the main yes. event. If you main event was awesome, the women's match was good. The opener yep. was really good. The yep. Satnam Singh match was only a minute thirty six, so it didn't have a yep. time to be bad. Sure, as a uh, overall very good show. A lot of great wrestling packed into that hour. Easy show to watch. And Easy hey, show. like I mentioned yesterday, Observer Radio. If you didn't see it, SmackDown was a good show. Drew McIntyre, Sheamus, twelve minutes of violence. Yeah. I think that match was actually more violent than Eddie Kingston, uh, the match okay. he had with Jake Hager. So that was a lot of fun. Shitty finish, but it's WWE. And then uh, Ronda Rousey and Shotzi, they had a good match. And uh, Gunther killing Ricochet in eight minutes to win the Intercontinental title. That was good. And then the main event, Sami Zayn and Riddle got 13 minutes, which was also a very, very good match. And then Riddle cut the best babyface promo since that time he cried on Raw. And uh, overall, two excellent pro wrestling shows, I would say, on uh, Friday night. This was the best thing on the show. And uh, the show was all downhill from there. So uh, I guess I can continue on. To uh, Dana Brooke beat Becky Lynch. And that, my friends, is Monday Night Raw. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.